Good morning from uh, windy, it's not that windy, it's breezy. <laughs> Slightly breezy. <yeah. laughs> I don't even know where we are actually, wherever we ended up last night. We're just above engine lock and uh, between engine lock and the first swing bridge, so we're... It's the place we moored when we were going the other way. <laughs> Pretty much exactly the place we moored. Yeah. yeah. So um, we're going to go to Eturia today, hopefully, and we're going to be traveling with the boat in front of us. Yep, there are some viewers that uh, happened to be out on vacation, saw us, and we're like, oh my gosh! So... <laughs> I think they were, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I don't know about oh my gosh, but they... <laughs> they were like, hello. <laughs> met them last night. So, uh, yeah, we will be moving towards Etruria. There are four locks. There's a staircase. Yeah, there's there's uh, two single locks, engine lock and table lock. I can't remember. I think it's called. And then there's the staircase towards the end where the basin is. Do you want to stop at Emma Bridgewater again? No. Okay. Do you? I, well, I'd kind of like to see it, but okay. at the same time, I'm not really sure. It's your call. It's basically, I mean... If, we're gonna if it's just a showroom, I'm not all that interested. It's just a shop, unless you do the tour. Right, and that's... You have to book it. Well, you might just... It's free, but I think it's free, but... But you have to book it. It depends if it's available, but we can do it. Because it's the sort of thing my mom would want to see. It's like a pottery tour. We'd have to leave the dog on the boat. That's the only thing. Right. Or just one of us would have to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Which is Maybe we should stop there and check. Just see what the details are. Okay. Or if we can look it up online on the way. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> so, possibly. I <laughs> hope stop. that was interesting for you. <laughs> yeah. Possibly a stop at Emma Bridgewater. Um, just because my mom did pottery and, and like, learned her way through kilns and sculpture and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's always, you know, clay is a thing of fascination. Um, for me, it's a thing of clay. <laughs> but it's a kind, you know, I, I, the technology is cool. Right. You can call it technology. It's clay. How far are they going? I'm annoyed here. Um, they're going to Etruria and they're turning left down towards Great Haywood. So, right. so we're, we're going to end at Etruria Basin. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's the day. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Good, good. Good. We go. It's a little bit chilly this morning, but thankfully there's no sign of the rain that was forecast. We untie the boat and retrieve the nappy pins that secure us to the armco. Travelling in convoy on a narrowboat is not something we do often, but it's nice to have some help with the locks, and to have someone to chat to. Last time we were here it was pouring with rain, so it's great to finally see the views from engine lock in sunshine. Once Michael has taken Perseverance through the lock, he pulls over and we reset the lock for Adam and Michelle on their hire boat. This is the village of Milton. This part of the canal was actually still used commercially as recently as the 1980s. Pottery wares were transported here from Hanley to be decorated. It's the school summer holidays and the Canal and River Trust are holding an event here to allow children to try their hand at fishing. It's a shame that there seems to be more instructors than participants when we pass. This is the Foxley Junction. In 1866, the Foxley branch of the canal was built from here to the Ford Green Ironworks. It was only 750 meters long and terminated in two basins, but sadly it is long gone.
are now entering the outskirts of Stoke-on-Trent, and the landscape soon starts to change. As we mentioned in previous videos, the history of the Six Towns is rooted in the pottery industry. For over 300 years, the smoke of kilns dominated the skyline, and the area became internationally known as the Potteries. The abundant clay and coal joined the canals in setting the course of the region. This is Ivy House Lift Bridge. It's operated electronically with a British waterways key. It's not a very busy road, and Freddie does an excellent job of manning the controls for us. Once, this landscape would have been dotted with these bottle kilns, just to survive canal site here on the site of the old Bullers Pottery Works. We decide against visiting the Emma Bridgewater Pottery today. It's actually a relatively new pottery, only established in 1984, but it occupies the site of the historic Eastwood Pottery Works of Charles Meakin. Now runs through the centre of Hanley Park here. There are lots of mooring rings, but sadly still no boats. The park was established in 1897, almost 100 years after the canal was built, and it provides a pleasant oasis between the industrial areas. The second lock of the day is Planet Lock. It only descends three feet. Freddie, Stan, and Michelle make light work of the panels. We pass the old Hanley Town Wharf, and then what was once part of the lease corn and fodder merchants. It wasn't all potteries here. There were doors that opened directly onto the canal here for loading goods straight onto barges. We arrive at the Bedford Street staircase locks, just as a boat is coming out. There's a boat on the lock landing waiting to go in, so we take their place once they move into the lock. It's been really nice travelling with Adam and Michelle and their family, and hearing all about their holiday and future narrowboat plans. The Ridgeways Bedford Pottery Works once stood adjacent to the canal here. It would have been quite a sight to see its eight huge bottle kilns smoking away. Leaky lock gates are annoying, but the water can look very pretty, especially when filmed in slow motion. We are right by the Etruria Junction now, and our final destination for today, so I pull onto the wharf and tie up. And then we walk around the corner to Summit Lock on the Trenton Mersey Canal to say goodbye to our companions. So we're back in Etruria. Yeah, Etruria? Etruria Basin. We still haven't learned how to say it. Etruria. We're back in Etruria Basin. Yeah, we just got off of traveling. We, we met some viewers yesterday. Adam um, brought over Bear, his dog, and said hello. So we met Adam, Michelle, the boys, three of them, Tommy, Freddy, and... Stan. And their dogs, Bear, and... What was the other one's name? Sassy. 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 Bear and Sassy. Um, so this is really nice, actually, cruising with um, other people. Kind of wish that it had been double locked. Cause... Yeah, it would have been better because we, we basically spent the entire time sort of in front of yeah. each other. And then we'd get in lock and it's just one through the next through. So double locks would have been more social. But um, they, um, they just pulled up at the water point and then we had a chat as they went through the first two locks here. And yep. now they're off on the rest of their holiday. And, and thank you for the Viennese wolves. <laughs> that was nice. 
<laughs> and the Jaffa cake. My and the Jaffa. I got to try Jaffa cake. My for first ever Jaffa, Jaffa cake. My first and second Jaffa cake. Seems like it was a bit of a mixed review. It was different than yeah. It was because I've seen them a whole bunch of times. I've you know, in fact, I was on the train a couple of days ago and somebody ordered some Jaffa cakes and I was like, one of these days I have to try a Jaffa cake because I see these things everywhere, but I don't really know what a Jaffa cake is. Now I've tried one, so I don't need to buy Jaffa cakes anymore. Good. <laughs> but it was it was just really nice having people to chat to as we travel. Yeah. Well, as we looked, not as we traveled. <laughs> yeah. I think we went about five miles today. I don't know. Oh. Well, yeah, about five miles. And there was really just the two locks at quite a distance from each other and the swing bridge and the staircase. Uh, the staircase. So it was kind of infrequent conversation, <laughs> but it was still nice. Yeah, it was really nice. Now we're back at the junction and we are going to be turning north on the Trans Mersey. Yes. At some point. We're still trying to figure out whether that will be sort of tomorrow, the next day, or a day after that. Or next week. Or next week. Because <laughs> we've gone through all of these pottery areas without actually really visiting any of the potteries. And so we can book in to see Middleport Pottery, or we can book in to go see um, Emma Ridgewater Pottery. And the problem is basically we have to book in to see a pottery, and we're on narrowboat time. <laughs> so we never know where we're going to be or what we're going to be doing. Yeah. Michael might visit a movie theater, I think. Possibly. And also possibly a hobby shop because we had a camera malfunction. Oh, yeah, there's was, no rear-facing camera for the Was the front-facing still run, running at the time that the malfunction happened? It only happened when I went, oh, I'm going to take it off. Yeah, and but was the went, camera still working? Yeah. So, yeah, the magnet uh, that holds our camera tripod together decided to no longer hold our camera tripod together. So now we've got a magnet and a camera on a little plastic thing and I need to glue them back together <sighs> and we've got lots of work to do so as always yeah however we've been lucky because the weather has not turned the way that it certainly was predicted to it looked like today was going to be damp and wet and showery and thunderstorms until late last night and then it's all cleared up for today it's a bit windy though it is a bit windy so thanks for watching if you like the video and the wind isn't completely drowning me out, give it a thumbs up. If you want to, make some comments down below. Uh, of course, you can subscribe. If you want to get notifications after doing that, you just hit the bell. Good? Yeah. I don't know why I went, bell! So Something's got George because his butt is, like, sticky. Like above his tail. Do we need to wash him? Not in the, not in, not in the worst case sort of way, but like you know, but yeah, no, he's he's uh, he's, he maybe needs some washing or some brushing at least. He needs brushing because he's covered in grass seeds <clears throat> and they can be dodgy. Yes. And uh, yeah, we just got off of traveling. We we met some viewers yesterday, um, who came and well, one of them, Adam, came. Hello, said said hello. We might get lucky and stay sunny for the rest of the time we're on the boat. What, the next two and a half years? Yeah. Wow, I didn't think of it as two and a half years. Wow. Wow. How long do you think we're going to be on the boat? I don't know, but two and a half years. Another two and a half years seems a little... Long? Long, but at the same time, good. So, okay. I'm going to have some beer in these whirls. So, that's all we have to say for now. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So it's great to see the views from engine lock in the sunshine. And we reset the lock for Adam Mishet. La, la, la. This is the village of Milton. This, Again. This is the village of Milton. What did I do wrong? Kind of went a bit whaley. Whaley? Yeah, this is the village of Milton. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this is the village of Milton.